First Nephi chapter 1, we have the record of a couple of different visions of Lehi. In verse 6, you have Lehi praying and he sees a pillar of fire. And it came to pass that as he prayed unto the Lord, there came a pillar of fire and dwelt upon a rock before him. And he saw and heard much. And because of the things which he saw and heard, he did quake and tremble exceedingly. Okay, That's all the description we get of that vision. Then he goes in verse 7 to his own house and he throws himself on the bed and he's overcome with the spirit. And then he sees he's carried away into another vision where he sees the heavens open and sees God sitting on his throne surrounded with numberless concourses of angels. And uh, as part of this vision, um, or at the end of it, you get to this verse, verse 14, and it says, And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great and marvelous things, he did exclaim many things unto the Lord, such as great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. Thy throne is high in the heavens, and thy power and goodness and mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. And because thou art merciful, thou wilt not suffer those who come unto thee, that they shall perish. And when I was a missionary, there was a less active woman who we didn't realize was a member we just knocked on her door and this was one verse that she remembered um, from her time in the church just that this praise the great and marvelous are thy work so lord god almighty and so yeah and that's part of one of these many visions of lehi that starts off the book of mormon